care where you came from, what level it's at, winning is freaking hard. And if you run from the hard work, don't tell me you want to win. This has got to mean something to you. All right, whatever your why is, you did this for your brother. You're doing this for your family. All right, at times like this is where you got to channel it. You got to bring that out. You see one of your teammates struggling, bring him along. Come on, hey, I want one for you. I want it for you. All right, but you got to want it for yourself. Yo, freaking trust right here about what you do. One thing you can't take away from Deion Sanders is I believe the guy's motivational. Whether it's quotes, just how he is, his total attitude, whether it's his coaching style. And I think, well, I know, I see it. He's compiled one of the most motivational staffs in the country. And I'm going to tell you why. You see all of this that's happening throughout the video. And as a former college player, I can say I didn't have anywhere near this in the spring. We had, we went to the gym. We had like mat drills. We had to get up super early. We had to run. We had to go on the field and, and do, you know, gases and sprints, all that other shit. But here's the thing. We never had those type of facilities, which, you know, a lot of teams had a facility. But they are such at a, they're competing at such a level that we never even had that kind of thought process. There was never a camaraderie of or a competitive thing. We were just running. We were running, getting ready for spring football. So for our spring game, it was never you know, offense versus defense, where we got these things on our, these harnesses, and we're trying to do this tug of war of who's going to win, or actually doing tug of war with a rope going, you know, left or right doing one-on-ones. They are setting the competition level early, and it's high. Everyone is competing against each other, and everybody wants to win. Everybody wants that, that one-on-one -on -one feeling where you beat the other person and everybody goes crazy. We had that, but that was more of summer into the fall. You know, we have our we had our training camp, um, basically, you know, five, ten days or whatever before school starts, getting ready for the season. That's where we saw a lot of the one-on-one -on -one stuff. It was nowhere near like that in the spring. And it's like, yo, I want to be a part of something like that. I would have loved if my school would have had that. So you, you watch that, the com competition level they're starting, and you watch the coaches, like, Sean Lewis was right there, the offensive coordinator, and he's telling guys, this is what you need to do. And, and more coaches are saying, this is your opportunity. This is what you need to buy into. That kind of commitment early, this is before spring practice, before the first spring practice, that kind of commitment from all the guys early sets the tone. It sets the mindset. And I'm motivated by it. That, that every one of them, you watch uh, Coach Sean Lewis talk. I've talked, of, I've been in front of uh, Coach Kelly because he's my former defense coordinator. He was motivational a lot. And not just because he was yelling or whatever the case may be. It was the stuff he said about life a lot that was motivational. But they did not have this kind of program in our spring game. It's so good to see. You see uh, the weight, strength and weight uh, person. Coach Mo, he, he's he's definitely setting the tone. Our strength and conditioning coach was all weights. You know, you go in the weight room, he, he's, you know, yelling and motivating the guys, but that never extended onto the field. I've never seen my, <clears throat> my strength and conditioning coach in the field, you know, yelling and running drills. So it, it's very, very motivational, and I'm, I'm super excited to see what they're going to do for the spring game and beyond. I don't know where the team's going to go just yet, but I'm excited about it. They coming.